What have you got in your mouth? What have you got in your mouth? Hello and welcome back to Pottenstein's Lab, where I have another libation to share with you, because that's what I do. This time, I, I'm so excited to share this one because, because stupid, okay? They have a really cool, in my opinion, uh, uh, marketing campaign for 19 Crimes Wine. This comes to us from Australia. I just, I loved it. These, the car, the, the, the wine label has a picture of a convict on each of the wine labels. You know, Australia was a pain old colony. You got sent to from Britain. If you download an app and then put your phone up to it, they talk. It's cool, kind of creepy, kind of stupid, kind of awesome. I was banished to Australia for crimes against the crown. They believed my story was over, but it was merely the beginning. Oh shit. Tell me more. Talk to me. The spirit of a rogue sustains when the bars of man impede. For no cage can hold that which is bindless. No man stop that which is fated to be. A little more? Oh! The hell is that? Convicted of crime 18. Spared the hangman's noose. Banished to Australia. I found true love in the most unlikely of places. Oh, okay, that story I don't want to hear. I bought the bottle of red wine. Now mine is 2016 red. It is red wine. Red wine. They have a Shiraz a Cabernet Sauvignon, or as we say here in the Midwest, a Cabernet Savignon. Uh, dark red, the red blend, a uh, hard chard, Chardonnay, and a red wine. Here on the back, 19 crimes turned criminals into colonists. Upon conviction, British rogues guilty of at least one of the 19 crimes <laughs> uh, were sentenced to live in Australia rather than death. <laughs> it's kind of like Arkansas. Kidding! Kidding! Love Arkansas. Love it. Uh, totally. For reals. Uh, punishment by transportation began in 1788. Many of the lawless died at sea. For the rough-hewn prisoner who made it to the shore, new world awaited. As pioneers in a frontier penal colony, they forged a new country and new lives brick by brick. This wine celebrates the rules they broke and the culture they built. 19 crimes. Now, you know, it kind of made me think of prison wine. Uh, which actually has a name. It's called Pruno. And people in prison make their own wine. You know how they do it? <laughs> they, uh, they'll bring back stuff from the uh, commissary and stick it all into plastic bags. They might have gotten like a Ziploc baggie or something like that, something that doesn't leak. They'll mash together uh, uh, fruit chunks that they brought back, sometimes tomatoes. Uh, tomato packets, ketchup packets, uh, potatoes, uh, uh, Kool-Aid, sweet and soft drinks, anything that they can. And that is what will make the wine. They, they stick it in a bag, mash it up, they run hot water on it, let it ferment, and then go check it, run some more hot water on it another day, da 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 da. A few days later, there is this juice in the bottom of it. That's their wine, Pruno. And 2% to 14% alcohol that's in that stuff. And the fun thing is also possibly some botulism. Okay, very, very nice smell to this. I wanna say a little, a little maple -y. Some of the wines that you'll get are red. You'll have that real tannin thing to it. it smells kind of like wood chips and angry people. But this, uh, this has a very, very inviting, almost slightly buttery. Bigger bouquet. I don't know. I don't know shit about legs, right? Does it have legs? I don't fucking know. What are legs? I don't know. It kind of goes up and it kind of flows down. Whatever. I just like drinking this stuff. So let's give 19 Crimes 2016 red wine a taste. That really rides a nice edge. I usually like super dry reds, right? Super dry stuff where you drink it and you actually desiccate while you're enjoying the cup or the the, the glass. Mm. Remember that buttery thing I taught I told you about? Oh, 
That is delicious. I don't really catch any of the, you know, it's oaky with a scent of uh, blackberry and, and pomegranate in it and a touch of Goodyear tire, 255R14. It's got a big upfront kind of a ding on your tongue and then it just mellows. And it's a little sweet on the backside. This I would drink with just about anything. Uh, I had a layer of cheese and some sassoage and uh, <laughs> salamis. Plus, I would take my phone, like you saw, and uh, and put it up there and make everybody watch the, the videos of the, the kitschy little thing that made me buy it in the first place. Just delightful. I got this, by the way, at Tipsy's Liquors. It is on uh, Johnson Drive near um, uh, Metcalf and Johnson, back behind a bunch of stuff in a strip mall. A little hard to find. Uh, if you're not looking for it, great place, great place to find wines and beers and did I mention beers and even a uh, harder spirit. So, um, happy crimes to you. Enjoy a little taste test from Pottenstein's lab. <laughs>